Recently, I've had a lot of fun recording videos where I compare inexpensive microphones to expensive microphones. And on my test video for the newer NW800, Gravity Gas left a comment that said, there was a point near the end of the video where I stopped looking at it but still listening while reading the comments. At some point, a little thought crossed in the back of my head that you should just do a bait and switch with the mics and see if there would really be a noticeable difference. Lo and behold, when I looked back up at the video near the very end, you've been talking on the newer for a pretty decent length of time and I didn't notice at all. So I thought that was a great idea and I wanted to do a blind mic test. And I told my lovely now wife Heather this idea and she took it one step further and suggested that I should also be blindfolded while testing these microphones so that way you don't know which is which and even I don't know which is which. And ultimately what we're gonna find out, we've got some inexpensive microphones, some more expensive microphones. How much does the brand and the price actually affect your perception of these mics? Just because something is expensive or because it has a certain brand on the side of it, does that make you think that it's a better microphone? If you're just judging it, on the quality of sound, will we be able to tell the difference? And I'm really interested to see if I can pick these mics out of a lineup. So what we're going to do right now, I have all four of them running into the Rodecaster Pro. They have no effects, no equalization. That's just a dry signal right into the Rodecaster Pro. I'm going to have Heather take as much time as she wants to rearrange the mics. And they can go in any order. We have the Rode Pod mic, the Shure SM57, so this is $100, this is $100. We have the Pile PD Mic 78, which is a $14 microphone. It's a direct knockoff of this. And we've got the newer NW800. Um, not exactly a competitor to the Pod Mic, but it's similar in terms of like, it's something you would use for like broadcast voice, streaming, that sort of thing. She can even switch the back of the Rodecaster, so I'll have no idea which channel is which, and then it'll be up to you when we're doing it. You can turn which one on and off. and and all that. We're recording this after we did the whole video. My plan was to block these out so you couldn't see them and we could guess together, but that would basically be blocking out the entire frame. So I'm not going to block these out. I'm gonna be blindfolded so I won't know which mic is which, but you will. If you don't wanna know and you wanna play along with me, just make sure not to actually look at the video. Just set your player or whatever over here and face the other direction and just listen. You could figure that out, but through the magic of editing, the whole screen would just end up being like a censored bar or something and it would look ridiculous. So you're going to know, I'm not going to know, who knows? So now I'm gonna get blindfolded and then Heather's gonna rearrange the microphones and I won't know what order they're in. Do I look cool? <laughs> no. <laughs> Can okay. you see under? No, I can't, I can't see a thing. Okay. Oh, okay, hold on. This is just tangled mess. Over it's here. fine. If you can hear me, I can't see you. This is very uncomfortable. The microphone should be in a different order. I didn't do any kind of test before this to like check the sound or anything. I have no idea which order the mics are in. I'm gonna go through and quickly do a little sound check on each mic just so we can see the qualities of that. And then I'll go one by one and see um, which one I think is which. The important thing is for me not to actually touch any of these because that will give it away right away. So the one that's on the left is where I want to start. Yes. On our left. Okay. Okay. Am I close to it? Um. Oh, you know what? This is, I should put this up so it's not. Covering, yeah. Covering. Don't look though. Does it look cool? It looks so cool. Okay. Okay. Just a little bit closer. Right Here? There, yeah. Okay. Oh my God. Uh, okay, so wait, this is what the first microphone sounds like, and then I'll move over to the next one. Okay, here's the, oh my gosh, this sounds so, so different, whichever mic this is. Okay, this is the second microphone. Okay, and this is, oh, th this is the third microphone. It sounds so much better than the last one. Here is the fourth microphone. So those are our little quick tests of each microphone. Okay, I've got some ideas. Let's go back to the first one. The enthusiasm project wants everything, you know. And I'm not worried about it. Good. I'm not worried about it in this video. Okay. You're here, so it's gonna look good. Don't worry. Cute. So this is microphone number one. What I can say is it's a very like there's not a lot of bass, but there's also not a lot of noise in it either. I oof. It kind of sounds good. I'm gonna say that this is the pile microphone because it's high it has less low end but it still has a pretty clean sound and a pretty good sound um and it's not really picking up anything besides my voice which is good it's a good sounding mic if it's the one i think it is which is a 14 dollar microphone okay let's move to mic number two and oh god okay 
this <laughs> this one sounds so bad. Um, I, this isn't the newer microphone. This has to be the gold newer microphone, uh, just because it sounds like almost like a drive through. I can hear my voice. I can hear like stuff, ambient sound. It just it it's rough. Which we did. If it is the newer one, um, we did make it sound pretty good when we added some equalization. Okay, let's do number three. Okay. Oh gosh. See, these two are going to be hard because. Three and four sounded really good to me. So this is three. Oh, man. Um, this one sounds so much cleaner. It's a more rich sound. It doesn't have as much high end. Actually, because it doesn't have as much high end, I'm going to say that this is the Shure SM57 because that mic tends to have a little more low end, not too much highs. And the pod mic also sounds good but has more highs than lows. So I'm going to say this is the Shure sm 57. And last but not least, this microphone, um, just by process of elimination, I would say this is the Rode Pod Mic, which I'm kind of second guessing my, I'm kind of second guessing myself because there's, there's a lot of plosives happening. So I actually, can I change my guess or do I have to go with it? Okay. I think this is the SM57 because it is having those pops and the Pod Mic has a built-in pop filter. So I'm going to switch those. I'm going to say this is the 57 and the third mic was the pod mic. I hope that's fair, but it's my channel. And if I say it's fair, it's fair. Okay. I'm it's just going to do it. You're just going to go? Right? Okay. So I'm going to take off my blindfold, figure out how this works. Wow. Hey, I think I got it right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm proud of myself here. Okay. So I had guessed that this was the pile microphone, which it is. This is my favorite of the least expense of the inexpensive microphones. It's $14. It sounds pretty good. It needs more low end, but it's not a bad mic at all. And it's $14. Check out the whole video on that one. This guy here, like this, this, I could just tell that this was this microphone. That's all we can say. It's very pretty. And then this one was tricky. The pod mic to me, I mean, it's really clean. You can totally hear such a difference in sound with how clean the pod mic is over here. I really thought that this was the 57 because for some reason being blindfolded, it sounded like this had more bass than it normally does. But the thing that really gave it away was that on when I did this one, it had the puh, 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 like I could just tell. I've used the pod mic enough over the year to know that like it doesn't pick up on those plosives as much. Uh, but both of these sound really, really good. And typically, if you were using the 57 for voice, you would have a pop filter on it but I only have one pop filter and it wouldn't be fair. It would have given this mic an unfair advantage um, over the the pile microphone or vice versa if we only use the one. So I don't know what we learned today. <laughs> I, I mean, how did I do? I mean, you got it all right. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of got these ones wrong. I would have gotten it wrong had I not heard the plosives on this one. Yeah. Um, do you have any preferences for mic sounds? Um, I like all of them except this one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's useful information or not, but this is a really fun idea. Um, before that though, one very important thing, which I meant to ask while I was blindfolded, Heather, do you know why the microphone wasn't good at getting constructive criticism? No. Because it was designed to avoid feedback. Because like audio feedback with microphones is a bad, is a bad thing.